What's up guys, Nick Sales here, and in this video I'm gonna be talking about why I prefer to use a glide cam over an electronic gimbal like a DJI Ronin or a Movi. I've had a lot of people asking why I'm still using a glide cam in 2020, so let's get into it. To start off, let's talk about the price. You can get a new glide cam HD Pro for about $500 or a used glide cam for about $300, which is what I got my glide cam for. I've been using it for over four years and it's still working like a champ. As opposed to electronic gimbals, whereas the most high-end ones like the Movi Pro go for $6,500 or the Ronin 2, which is about $8,000. Or the lower end electronic gimbals like the Ronin S, which is about $800. So the glide cam is cheaper, but I also think it's better in a lot of categories and I'm gonna explain why. The first advantage that the glide cam has over an electronic gimbal is that it doesn't require any batteries. As I've said before, I sometimes have to hike in for miles to a place to shoot and having all these extra batteries, first of all, not only creates a big hassle with constantly switching them out, but I can't tell you how many times I've seen filmmakers struggling to get their electronic gimbals balanced correctly and how many issues they have with their motors freaking out. Those are risks that I'm just not willing to take on a shoot because if an electronic gimbal is all you have and then it stops working or the motors give out or the battery dies, you're in trouble. But with the glide cam, I can shoot all day with it and I never have to worry about it running out of battery or worry about the motors overheating or any other piece of equipment that could stop working. The second advantage that a glide cam has is that it has more of a natural look than an electronic gimbal. When you think about it, even when we see out of our eyes when we're walking, it's not 100% smooth. And I feel like a glide cam more easily emulates the look that you'd see from your actual eyes, whereas an electronic gimbal is almost too smooth in some situations. And another problem that I see with them all the time is that there are little jitters and bumps in the footage that make it look robotic instead of natural. I just did a music video where I shot half of the footage in Idaho on a glide cam, and another videographer shot the other half of the footage in Tennessee with an electronic gimbal. And his footage isn't bad, but you can see a bit of those imperfections perfections from the electronic gimbal that isn't the videographer's fault, it's just hard to make an electronic gimbal look natural, whereas a glide cam feels like a natural extension of my arm and more easily looks like how I would see out of my eyes. The third advantage that the glide cam has is that I don't have to carry any stands for it to go in or awkwardly carry it out in front of me as I'm walking to a location. I can just throw it on my shoulder and it makes it a lot easier to walk around with. The fourth advantage is that I've realized that electronic gimbals are better for beginners but harder to master. And glide cams are harder to get a hold of to begin with, but easier to master. The glide cam does take a lot more practice to get the hang of it than an electronic gimbal, but once you have it down, it's easier to master. When I first started shooting with a glide cam, I had no idea what I was doing. But after a few weeks of practice, I got a decent hold of it, and now five years later, I know it about as well as the back of my hand. So in all reality, when it comes down to it, these are different tools used for different purposes. In fact, there are some scenarios in which I would prefer to use an electronic gimbal. Like if I was getting footage from a helicopter, or if I had to get a super low to the ground smooth shot with precision. But I see a lot of filmmakers who want to replicate my style of filmmaking but end up shooting with an electronic gimbal and then they can't understand why their footage doesn't look like mine. So it really comes down to the look you're going for and the style of filmmaking that you're wanting to do. Maybe as electronic gimbals start to get better and better, I'll open up more to the idea of using them. But for now, I'm gonna stick with my glide cam because it does everything that I need it to in a convenient and affordable way. So if you'd like to learn more about filmmaking and especially how to replicate my style style of filmmaking, go ahead and check out my online courses down below in the description. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment below letting me know your thoughts. But other than that, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.